welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Shireen Tan. Welcome back to the show today. We have single vineyard Pinot Noirs from Santa Barbara County. I know you're excited about this episode, right? And one of our favorite producers of so, Pinot Noir. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this video has not been paid for in any way, shape, or form. But if you do like these videos, if you find value in them, check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara County, the downloadable book called... Sipping Santa Barbara, recommended wines and producers. All right, uh, before we get started, so we basically, we Coravind all these wines with our Coravind Model 2 Elite. Thank you to Coravind for giving us a test sample to use into these beautiful Gabriel Gold hand-blown glasses, right? Mm -hmm. Very nice. I will have a discount code up at the end of the video for some Gabriel Glass stemware. Ready to get started? <laughs> Bona Bonacorsi. I don't know if I would say Bonacorsi. Uh, producer that we respect and like very much. Started by Michael and Jenny Lee Bonacorsi. Michael was actually a top, uh, I think he was a master sommelier actually in LA. Uh, yes, I think he was. And, but he did, after they established the winery, he did pass uh, from a heart attack. His wife, late wife Jenny Lee, now takes care of the winemaking. She makes all the wines. Uh, very makes very elegant wines. These wines are kind of the exact opposite of some of the big Santa Rita Hills Pinot Noir that mm -hmm. you come across, wouldn't you say? Yeah, they're much more, a lot of restraint on the nose, extremely elegant structure, and you know they are all built for, for aging. And we have and we have tasted some 2010, yeah. which, which was coming along beautiful. We have three different wines, three different vine vineyards, and three different vintages. You ready to get started? Mm -hmm. Let's go with the youngest. First, we have the Bonacorsi John Sebastiano Vineyard from 2014. You are a big fan of the wines that come out of this vineyard, right? Uh -huh. Correct? Very much. Me too. Uh, let's give this a little bit of a go. First of all, beautiful, beautiful, true Pinot Noir-esque color. Lighter in color. Let's give this a smell. You know what I like about these glasses mm -hmm. is you don't need a lot of wine to, to smell. Yeah, exactly. And it's very easy to soar because that's like this. Oh, gosh. Ouch. This is exact. I love these wines. All 45 US dollars. Not cheap, I know. Mm -hmm. Definitely not cheap. But uh, for single vineyard, high quality Pinot Noir. I think it's not too shabby. What do you what do you pick up on this? Much more floral, a little bit of blue fruit, but lots of violet. Strawberry for me. Mm -hmm. Cool whip, kind of like a cool whipped creamy flavor, which mm -hmm. I like. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful nose. Ruby. Let's give the it's perfume too. Hmm. Lighter body on the palate. I'm sorry, earthier on the palate than I would mm, expect. A chalky taste to it. What Sensational. <laughs> it's a little bit tight and linear right now on the palate, but that's what I appreciate about that wine because I can't wait to see in a few more years how it's going to unwind itself. It. Uh, the I attack have, is linear. It's really beautiful because this is not big, huge. These are not big, huge extracted Pinot Noirs that sometimes you come across in Santa Rita Hills, which are, we have no problem with. Sometimes uh, those wines are fun, but this is beautiful, elegant stuff. What do you think? Yeah, the structure is incredible. I am um, as of right now, I'm four point four out of five on this. I think it's a, I think it's a phenomenal Pinot Noir. I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> wow, you ready to move on? <laughs> Just you can dump it in here to save it. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's move on, shall we? We have the Bonacorsi Fiddlesticks Vineyard, uh, owned by Kathy Joseph from Fiddlehead, 2013 uh, Pinot Noir. This one has a little bit darker color, don't you see? Color, I don't know if you can pick that up, just slightly a little bit darker color. Let's give this a go, shall we? This is definitely less floral than the previous. Um... This Sebastiano. is more perfume and floral. This is more earthy oh, so, yeah. right away on the palate, which I'm digging right away. Yeah, so there's a little rock smell to it. Still Beautiful strawberry. This is beautiful. This is nice, right? What do you think? Yeah. Let's give this a little bit of a go, shall we? The previous structure is a little bit more firm at this point. 
funny 13. enough, because that's 2014, but the 2013 is broader, more expressive. Shows a little bit more wood, too, to me. Okay. Do you, you don't pick it up as I much? I guess so, yeah, on the finish, yeah. Spicier finish? Yeah. This is, a, this is a little more masculine. This is a little bit more feminine, to me. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? I'm for, I, I, sorry. I don't, I don't know. This is because the wood to me makes it a little burlier. This one is a little bit more delicate. That, these are what you can see as we're talking. These are definitely what contemplation wines. Mm -hmm. Which one are you enjoying more? For me, I care a lot about the structure of Pinot Noir, but I, I like both. But currently, right now on first sip, I'm more into this. This one. I think this has more texture to it at this point though, and broader mid palette. Tendons are a little bit grippy in the 2013 this, as well. I'm not gonna, <clears throat> I'm just gonna stick by my guns. This one has more wood, some more tannins. I think it's more, a little bit masculine to me. This one's more delicate and feminine. I'm about 4.2 on this. I still think it's very good wine. 4.4 on this one. Both good wines to start, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get, let's move on, shall we? We have next the uh, Bonacorsi 2012 Melville Vineyard. 2012 <clears throat> Melville is down uh, Highway 246. Uh, there's an estate called the Melville Estate, which Shireen likes very much, right? Mm -hmm. There's some good cool fruit coming out there, some nice Syrahs as well. Let's give this a little bit of a sniff, shall we? 2012. This is the Santa mm. Barbara Pinot Noir that I know. This is a little bit richer, a little <laughs> yeah. bit more riper. The cherry is up. Mm. Ooh, all the way. But you like it, right? I like it. There's some grassy tone, a little, still a little bit of earthy tone to it, but it's like fruit first. For me, it's more like these are strawberry. This is mm. cherry. That's San, that's Santa, Santa Rita Hills to me. More cherry -ish. Earth. Some cool. So I like this. Well, the fruit intensity is very high in this. Nice texture. This is a little bit more fruity. These are obviously this earthy, more have more floral perfume notes. What do you think about this? Are you enjoying it as much? Or? This actually has more powerful, intense aroma, um, fruit flavor. And in fact, as of now, this has longer fruit finish, whereas this has more tannic finish. Mm -hmm. The wood. I'm still gonna stick with. I, I, this this, I, you, it's so funny. This is the first time we actually agree. I'm 4.4, 4.3, 4.2, 4 but all good Pinot oh, Noirs. You, you think this is 4.3 and this is 4.2? Yeah. Okay. The, the, this is very good wine, but for me right now, I'm in this phase where I'm not enjoying the wood so much. Uh, it, that's super woody. It's not oaky, but I can definitely feel the oak tannins at the end. Mm, okay. Anything uh, else? No, I agree. I'm uh, just thinking about how long this wines can age, especially this chill. Good showing by Jenny Lee. Uh, <laughs> Jenny Lee Bonacorsi. Her, her wines are elegant, super well made. I mean, they're just beautiful wines. Mean, there's not a single wine that we tasted by her that we haven't liked. Yeah, we liked her yeah. Melville Chardonnay a lot too, right? Absolutely, yeah. Wow, so check it out. Anything else you want to add on Bonacorsi, Santorita Hills? Oh, I think it's important to mention that the first time we tasted this wine was at Taste of Santorita Hills in Longport Wine Ghetto. Yeah, so we have to thank Antonio and uh, Jenny Moretti. Yeah, because actually. these wines are quite difficult to, to get. Yeah. So she doesn't. there's no tasting room. You have to taste them at Taste of Santorita Hills. That's so we right. give you a tea. <laughs> uh, you guys, I will put the... Uh, the discount code for the Gabriel glass up on the screen, eligible for 15% off the standard machine blown glass and the Alpha Decanter. We are not affiliates. We don't get anything out of it. It's just uh, us extending an offer to you. Uh, check out our guide, Sipping Santa Barbara. Check out Bona Corsi. That's about it, right? Let's go. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. We'll see you at the next episode.